Hey guys, I am Parv Nirvazov and today I want to show you how to use JSON-TT which is a tool that helps you to translate your JSON or YAML files into another languages for completely free and this is our CLI that uh, there's options like module from to let's start with module module is the, is the translation module that you can select uh, there's like Google, Google 2 being another an, an uh, options we have the, the which language you want to translate from to which languages and you can specify the output name and you can enable the fallback logic which is basically a, a logic when um, let's say you're trying Google if it fails it will just uh, try Google 2 and uh, or others and uh, you can specify the concurrency limit which is critical when you are translating big JSON files it's um, just um, executed much faster and there's two ways of uh, translating your files, which is um, the first one has the better UX. Let's start with the, the first one. In the first screen, you're just selecting your module. Let's continue with the Google 2. And then the from languages, you can just basically select the language that you want to translate from, but you can just also select automatic, which uh, it catches automatic. And two language, let's say Chinese, and let's continue with the Filipino. And the output name is optional, you can just pass it. And the fallback logic, we can say yes for it's much more safer. And um, computer limit, you can basically, uh, the default is three, you can basically pass it. And as you can see, it's kind of fast. And it uh, created two files, which is the for Chinese, it's created this one, and the for Filipino, it's created that one. Let's see inside of these files which is, um, as you can see, this is for the Filipino and this is for the Chinese one. And the second second one is uh, kind of much more faster. Let's continue. Uh, you can just specify the JSON TD and uh, the file path and you can just say um, from here, it's, as I said, much more faster. Let's say Google 2 as, as a module and from languages, you can just say auto two language yes let's um for languages you can you can check this page here which is a readme file basically let's say for google 2 i want to translate to to french you can uh, just write fr and for two fr and the fallback logic um we can say yes and for concurrency limit uh, we can say three and uh, we don't need an output name and it just translated and created the French file with heat and this is the French file that's created that's it it's pretty easy and uh, thanks for watching